Virgo, hi and welcome to your reading. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Virgo. If you are returning to my channel, welcome back. If you are new, welcome and thanks for stopping by. Coral Tree Tarot here. These all are timeless and general of tarot readings. And let's jump right into it, Virgo. Yes, this is your reading. Okay. I'm sorry about the mix-up. The previous reading was a total mix-up. Um, I do remember... Uh, Partially the, the messages from that reading, but I decided not to write about this. I will simply redo the reading. So, well, go, let's, let's jump right into it and see what's happening for your love and relationships for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Sorry about that. Please, Spirit, show me the energies happening please show me the messages that I need to see Sun Moon and Rising Virgo Sun Moon and Rising what's this connection about please show me the energies that this person is coming with what are the energies what's this person is coming with what are the energies what are they coming up yes this one wants to come this one wants to come one more for Virgo, this one wants to come, and I am going to take the bottom of the deck, and then we're going to move on to your tarot. All right, Virgo, we get triggered. We have love, beautiful. We've got unfinished business and mask. The overall energy is sparks, okay. Um... This person loves you dearly. We get love. They do love you and they do know they love you, Virgo. Um, but I feel there is something in the connection with you that connects you and a person from this person's Past relationship that triggers them and therefore this connection may feel of as if there are ups and downs we get the drama energy um, this person is absolutely optimistic and euphoric so to speak about this relationship with you um this energy reminds me of four of wands this this is sparks so there is definitely a strong love connection between you and this person and it feels as if you know it, it feels on the level of physical level of like sparks electricity this person feels it very very strongly also um for some of you, this person has an unfinished business with someone and that whatever, whatever is causing, you know, interference in your connection isn't so much because um, you remind this person from the past, but because um, there is two aspects, that, that there are two aspects in this connection between you and this person, Virgo, that may, you know, challenge this situation and they are a summit from the past, an unfinished business, and also the fact that this person gets triggered. Um, now, I want to know a bit more about the trigger that is, this is... This could be, you know, if this could be things that are connected to um, this person's upbringing or childhood, um, but it could be only connected to the fact that someone hurt this person previously 
that would be this person that they haven't finished a connection, they haven't healed it, they haven't released that person. Um, also, what I'm getting, love itself is um, such a strong emotion for this person that um, I feel this person has some sort of fears of authenticity and, and, and being in this connection, who they are. And whenever they feel in love, and they do feel in love, they feel love for you, Virgo, this person um, starts showing signs of, of um, makes, best, makes best, bad decisions. Um, I feel there is a level of understanding that they have, they are in love with you. And there is a level of complete, like, um, this person is unaware that what triggers them is a love the emotion itself b possibly pain related to a past relationship um and what i want to say also is that there, there is a challenge here connected to the fact that I feel this person doesn't want to um, kind of process this this um, unfinished business doesn't want to or is not aware of the triggers okay there's <laughs> there's a lot of messages here where I go the bottom line is this person loves you and they feel absolutely, absolutely, um, they, they, it's like they are jumping out of joy. The sparks, it's, it's such a lively and positive energy. Um, but we also have um, a lot of energies here that are telling me that there is a challenge in this connection between you and this person and I did mention them all now I am going to put this down here and we are going to move to your tarot let me just move it so that we have space for the tarot okay Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what's happening. I do believe this person is aware that they love you. Um, we get Knight of Swords. This is communication. This person wants. Um, it's desperate to talk, it's desperate to communicate, it's, it's desperate to explain. Um, there is a sense of urgency with the Knight of, Knight of Swords, Virgo. Um, let's see. Sun, and Rising, Virgo. What's happening here? Love, relationships, Virgo, Sun. Before I open a tarot, um, I want to come back to these because I do feel that um, there is, for some of you, this person is oh, is um, expressing their love to you. They are showing their love. They are acknowledged their love. They know that and they are aware 
of how they feel about you. But for some, for others of you, remember this is a general and collective reading, and therefore there is multiple energies uh, here. For others of you, this person is not expressing that love. It's not acknowledging it for themselves and for you. And there is, uh, because of that um, energy drama and sort of hidden aspect of this mask, I feel um, that's, the, uh, that's the message for, for others of you, okay? Um, so I feel I covered everything, every um, possible aspect here. Page of Wands, this is that communication. King of Wands in the past, a lot of fire, nine of Wands in the future, and two of Wands as the overall energy. Okay, so this person is juggling, debating. I want to know a little bit more. Strong Aries Leo Sarge. Tell me more about the jungle, 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 jungle. Tell me more. What's this person? I want to take this. There's five of pentacles. Five of cups. Eight of pentacles. Tell me more. What, what, why is this juggling here, waiting? I feel this person does regret whatever has been happening between you two, Virgo. I feel they are aware that they are triggered um, from time to time. I also feel that there is here eight of pentacles and seven of pentacles. For me, the seven of pentacles, it's, it's okay, waiting, waiting, strategizing. And this knight of swords that came flying here while, while I was shuffling, it's making me feel that this person is juggling whether to communicate now or wait. For some reason they do, um, they have been strategizing, they have been um, looking at what possible efforts they can take, eight of pentacles and seven of pentacles, so that um, once they communicate with you, because we have this page of wands here as the present energy, and so I do believe this person is perhaps has been hard to communicate with. Um, perhaps they have been absent from your life, and it's um, it's this person kind of energy now here deciding. It could be your energy as well. Deciding to communicate. Put an effort and communicate. Tell me more about the page of wands. There is a communication. This person wants to talk. Okay, we have... Queen of Wands, clarifying the Page of Wands. Now, I know you're a Virgo, and if you have been listening to my readings for me, this is a third person in a reading, unless you are a fire sign. But because I have King of Wands here, I am going to say that this person is debating whether to talk to you about the fact that they feel that you guys belong together. This is that love. Okay, this person does have feelings. This is clear. Now, 
in the near future we have nine of wands so it's clear to me that this person um, has a lot of defenses um, the triggered oracle here clearly was pointing to the fact that this person has been hurt in the previous relationship or this could be simply something that is connected to much deeper um, wounds uh, related to you know upbringing and childhood as I said something that is unconscious as well um, but nevertheless I'm gonna go with the nine of wands you know archetype they will be very defensive if they contact you I do feel they will um, but and if if they contact you as I say I do feel they will very soon it's going to happen very soon we had that knight of swords flying the nine it's almost ten it's almost the end of a cycle so in terms of timing it's sooner it's definitely within three to four weeks for those of you virgos that are not in touch with this person um but don't expect that this con um con communication will be um full of clarity and conversations that are open um because of the the nature of the nine of wands they are going to be uh, defensive yet i do feel that the, the 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 news that they want to come forward with is that this is how they feel about you too they feel that you you do belong together Tell me more about the nine of wands for Virgo. Nine of wands, tell me more. Sun, very beautiful. So intentions are very beautiful here. Look, oh, and I have Ace of Cups here right on the bottom of the deck. When I stop shuffling for, for the clarifiers, look. <sighs> Heads up for you. I feel this person loves you. I feel this person... Um, for most of you, this person is aware and is acknowledging the feelings that they have for you. For others of you, mm, this may not yet be very clear to them how they feel about you. But the most important message is, these are the sun and four of wands are clarifying the nine of wands. I feel the intentions for the communication is definitely connected to the fact that this person wants to... bring some clarity to the fact how they feel about you two and this is how they feel about you two they do feel that you belong together that there is a very strong um desire to connect with you and build a stronger partnership down the track um, relationship that is committed because of the four of wands but I feel um, because of the oracles that we spoke about this connection has a few steps to go through and these are the the steps that I mentioned at the start of the video this person gets triggered by love itself by the feeling of, of that emotion it can be connected to this person's childhood the bringing or simply a previous relationship that hurt them there's also someone that is um attached to this person they haven't healed it they haven't released this person there's unfinished business um it may be definitely causing this connection to go to feel like up and down but I do want to say here very clearly how this person feels about this connection with you. And this is how they feel. The sparks and love, um, which I clearly see here in the tarot, 
having both the Queen and the King of Wands. The Sun and Four of Wands clarifying the the Nine of Wands. In other words, this person will be um, acting in a quite offensive way, but it is because they care. The intentions are pure and long term for many of you. Um, But as I said, there are energies that have to be dealt with that are affecting strongly the situation currently. This Five of Cups really makes me feel that this unfinished business here hasn't been released. Has It's an unfinished business um, and has to be dealt with in the right way, meaning that... Um, you know, the energy of the, the, the triggered, it does make me feel that um, this is something that's very often unconscious. But for, for some of you, this person is aware what makes them run away, what makes them make a bad decision. And you apply to your situation, Virgo. Um, as I said, this is a collective reading. Uh, strong Leo, Aries Leo, such strong Leo, um, could be Virgo, could be fellow Virgo as well, no, I am going to only pull this astrology, let's see what else. Tell me more about this connection here. What's what's connected to this situation? Okay, well, you get um, seventh house and North Node, fate. All right, um, seventh house in astrology deals with one-to-one -one relationship. This connection involves a long-term partnership, marriage relationship that is committed. North Node, um, fate. Um, you met this person for a reason, this is love, and I feel this is very possible that once you, once this person, or whoever here, as I said, this could go both ways, this could be your energy, or the person that you are interested in, you are asking about here in this, uh, listening to this video, um, once the unconscious, uncomfortable challenges are dealt with, this is very possible. Marriage, long-term relationship, committed. Love relationship um, here, Virgo. Woo! Incredible. Um, I will make sure that this will get posted and not deleted. Again, I'm sorry about that mix-up. Um, Virgo. That's all that I have for you today. If you enjoyed this reading, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if this resonates. Take care, Virgo, um, and I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye for now.